Movies tell us that we should only question our relationship with alcohol once we've reached rock bottom, once we've got a DUI, once we've gone to work drunk, once a disaster has happened. And this simply isn't the case. But there is a key moment where we should be questioning our relationship with alcohol. This normally happens for people when they're in their 40s and a couple of years after a key life event, such as a breakdown of a relationship, a divorce. Let's jump straight in and look at the normal journey of a drinker and identify that key point where people should be assessing their relationship with alcohol. Typically, when we start drinking in our teens or early 20s, we start to have that fun side of alcohol. People are completely unaware of the negative impacts alcohol is having in their life. And it is having the negatives, but they're just unaware. Now, these are the types of people who can have one glass of wine, put the bottle in the fridge, and not even think about the rest of the wine for the next few days or even a week. Some people live their entire lives in this phase of drinking, where they just don't see the negatives of drinking. If you're anything like me, this phase did not last so long. The next phase is more when people are drinking out of habit. It's just become autopilot to open that beer when they get home from work, to open that bottle of wine. It's just what they do. But in this phase, the negatives are starting to show. Maybe the hangovers are lasting two or three days. Maybe there's a sense of anxiety and sadness that's following those periods of drinking. Maybe it's the financials, the indirect and direct, those Amazon parcels that turn up a couple of days after a heavy session. All of these negative experiences from drinking are starting to show. But generally, people still think that alcohol is enhancing their life overall because they've been fed that marketing from their alcohol companies. Think about the last advert you saw for alcohol. It certainly did not include any ugly people in it, and it certainly didn't include any boring looking people, right? The models that they're using in their adverts, they create the perfect scenario. Who doesn't want to be included in that? And also we hold on to those funny, good memories that we had when we first started drinking. There's super funny, stupid stuff that we did when we were drunk. Like I'm not saying that I've never had a good experience when I've been drinking, I have. But as time went on and as I progressed through the different stages of drinking, I noticed the negatives far outweighed the positives. And then we get to the point where we just can't hide from the negative impacts of drinking anymore. Perhaps it's the very serious conversation that the doctor has with us about our blood pressure, about our cholesterol, about the extra kilos we're carrying, about the negative downward spiral of our health conditions. Perhaps it's that we can't hide from the booze blues anymore. Those few days afterwards, that depression really hits in. That anxiety just skyrockets. And most importantly, it's super difficult to hide from the reflection in the mirror, to hide from yourself. The fact that you know that you keep breaking your promises to yourself, not being happy and not being proud about the person that you see in the mirror, what's more important than that? And typically, this is the moment that people start to create rules around their drinking. They start to recognize that the drinking is out of control. They need to start moderating it. You'll never be able to moderate your drinking. So often people get stuck in the moderation track over and over again, making new rules, breaking them, making a different rule, breaking them. And it's so frustrating. They're trying the same approach and expecting a different result. Now, this is the definition of crazy, according to Einstein. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Moderation does not work. And this is the defining moment. If you've ever questioned your drinking habits, if you've ever thought about cutting down, if you've ever thought about moderating, if you've ever identified and questioned, am I an alcoholic? This is your equivalent to a rock bottom. Rock bottom doesn't mean you're losing your job, you're losing your relationship, you're losing stuff because of your drinking. Rock bottom is a feeling, that feeling of dissatisfied, that feeling of wanting more. The feeling of knowing that you have more potential inside yourself, but you just can't get it out. This is rock bottom. Life should not feel like this. And you deserve more, a lot more. And it's like when you're in that end moment of a relationship, the last six months, you know it's not working. You've tried everything. You keep trying and trying and trying, and it's just not working. Sometimes you have to accept that it's just not gonna work. And that's okay. And it's the same with alcohol. So that is the key moment, the key point in a drinker's life where they have that decision to make, which will completely change their life. Whether they stop drinking alcohol or they continue 
on that hamster wheel of moderation, hating themselves, making a new rule, breaking that rule, hating themselves, making a new rule, hating themselves. <laughs> Get off the hamster wheel and choose a different way forward. And this is where I always recommend take a 67 day break from alcohol. And then you can make an informed decision on how you want your relationship to alcohol to be in the future. You can always go back. If you're ready to make that radical decision to go alcohol free for 67 days or longer, check out the free resources I have below. If you wanna reach out and have a conversation, the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, take care of yourself. Ciao, ciao.